this week we have a topic that I am well versed in. I probably could tackle this topic with my eyes closed. And it is uh, a user generated question um, or a listener generated question. Now, if you have a question that you want us to tackle, make sure that you send us an email to hello at jumpstart-hr.com. And that's where we will be able to tackle uh, questions um, that you submit to the show. All right. So this question is all about outsourced HR for small business. And uh, I'd love to hear, you know, what is the setup at your small business? Are do you have a consultant? Do you have outsourcing? Do you have an HR department of one? Is your management team doing the HR function? Would love to, would love to hear about that. Uh, and, and so let us know. Um, but this question is, when hiring an outsourced HR company, what should we be looking for? All right. So what should we be looking for when you are looking to find an outsourced company? Um, I wanted to break it down into four things because there, I believe, are four components to successfully identifying and evaluating an HR partner that can work for your company. Uh, when I started my business, I, I will rewind and go back even further and say, uh, before I started my business, I had no idea that I would start an HR outsourcing company, HR consulting company. No idea at all. I just knew that I was uniquely um, passionate and uh, skilled and um, desiring to help small businesses get to the next level and grow uh, or get to the next level and get rid of some of the bad habits that they have. Uh, because I think that um, small businesses are awesome. Small businesses power a lot of America. Uh, small businesses become big businesses. And uh, I never thought that I was going to create a company like this. I just thought I was going to work at a small business for the rest of my life and, um, you know, climb the corporate ladder or maybe ultimately go to a larger firm. But I realized, no, you know, I really like, I really like small business because there are so many, um, nuances to a small business that you don't see in a medium size to larger enterprise that if you're really going to uh, successfully support a small business, you should know those nuances. And so I'll break down the four keys to um, identifying an outsourcing partner and at the same time, give you some, some red flags sprinkled in there. Okay. So the First thing you want to look for for a good match is uh, the company's history and credibility. So when I say company history, that could mean everything from how long have they been in business, who are the founders, who's on the leadership team, what is their experience in solving uh, businesses uh, challenges like like you have, um, and what is their credibility. So with credibility, it could be, you know, what are their ratings on uh, Better Business Bureau? Uh, what do their reviews say? What do testimonials say on their website? Uh, are they actively a part of any community groups or community organizations, uh, board appointments? Um, you want to see that the company you're reaching out to is an active member of of a, of a community if they're if they're not in your community, uh, but a community, and you want to make sure that you know there's a there's a footprint for this company outside of their website. You'd be so surprised that um, some companies are very hard to find, and I'm not even talking about just in the HR outsourcing space because I don't want to kind of make this a us versus them kind of thing, but companies in general, you should be pretty uh, leery of if it's hard to find any n representation of them outside of their company website. Um, so you want to make sure that there's history and credibility. Um, the other thing you want to do is evaluate their trustworthiness and 
expertise. So, uh, and I, I mean, you know, this can apply for an outsourcing partner. This can apply for a uh, career coach or a resume writer or anyone who is aligned in the field of human resources to help you solve a problem. So if you are looking in the market for a coach of some sort, then you want to make sure that you're also applying these rules. I want to keep this relevant for people who may not be uh, fully looking for HR um, outsourcing at the moment. Um, so the second thing is trustworthiness and expertise. Okay. When you are talking to them, do they seem trustworthy? Do they have the experience that you're looking for? Uh, have they done the work that you're looking to get done? All of these things are important to evaluate. Do they have references that you can uh, talk to? Um, when you talk to the references, do they cooperate that this is a, a great uh, company for you to partner with? Um, and then, you know, the employees or team members, are they also trustworthy when you get a chance to talk to them? Do they feel like they've been here before and they can do the work that you need them to do? The other thing that you want to look at is the approach. So you want to look at how that company is attempting to solve your problem and if it works with the way that your company works. So we have a very specific business model. And we do it for a reason, right? But there may be other freelancers out there. There may be other companies out there that do it a little bit differently. And they may have their reasons. So it is up to you to decide if their approach makes sense for your business needs. One example might be uh, if you need someone who comes on site, uh, that is a, a something to evaluate. Uh, if you need someone who has specific years of experience in a particular industry, if you need specific certification, if you, um, you know, would rather have a, a dedicated person as opposed to a call center or a help bank, um, these are different things that you have to evaluate with their approach. Uh, another aspect about approach is pricing. What is their pricing structure? Does that fit your budget? Does it fit the way that you work with other vendors, right? So you want to make sure that you have a framework for how you like to work with uh, partners and see that that company can align and help you um, in the way that you like to be helped. And then the last thing is that there's an alignment of values. So, you know, you want to make sure that you're working with a partner that can reflect your values because there may be certain instances where your HR partner is stepping in, acting as your representative. And so if there isn't a clear alignment of values between your two organizations, um, maybe that's not a good fit. You, you might also want to ask the person that you're speaking with, you know, what are your company values? What do you prioritize? What do you not prioritize? And why is that? You want to do this because it's going to help you get to a point of understanding if this is a company that believes what you believe, that values what you value, that invests in what you invest in. And that sort of alignment can make all of the difference. That makes all the difference of uh, this company feeling like an integrated partner with your team, um, an integrated partner with your board, if you have a board of advisors or a board of directors. So uh, you want to make sure that there's an alignment of values. But those are my uh, qualities and traits. I would love to hear yours. Um, maybe if you have evaluated outsourced partners in the past or vendors to work on a project, what are some of the things that you've looked for? Um, I think that it's, it's always important to know why you uh, make a decision in your company and you want to make sure that you uh, have people that you bring on board that align with your, uh, with your values.